Hello guys, it's me Void, and today I'm here with another part of beginner tutorial. In this tutorial I will be teaching you about how to properly use effects, so that glitches like these doesn't happen anymore. And I will also teach you about my motion blur settings. And remember one more thing. All of the tutorials I create are based on my experience. So, if you believe you have a better method for something, feel free to use your own approach instead of following mine. Now, let's begin the tutorial. After finishing your transition, click on the clip, then go to effects, then add effect, then blur, and look for the effect called, zoom blur. After adding the zoom blur effect, insert a keyframe with full strength at the beginning of the clip. Next, add another keyframe with a strength of zero, and move as close as possible to the first keyframe. Then add a graph like this. Now, add a motion blur effect. If you plan to export your edit at 60 FPS, then add motion blur's strength of 1.00. Or if you intend to export your edit at 30 FPS, then choose motion blur's strength of 0.50 or 0.60. Now that we've completed the motion blur, let's focus on how to use effects correctly, so that warp or other effects glitches doesn't happen anymore. This is how you should use effects in a specific order to avoid the glitches of tiles effect that many people faces while editing. First, add tiles. Then, add warp effect. Then, add oscillate effect. Then, add swing effect. Then, add auto shake effect. And this is how you should use effects in a specific order to prevent tile glitches. And this is my tiles setting. You can either use 1.010 or 1.015, but I always use 1.015, so I'm going to use that. And this is how you should avoid glitches of warp tiles. Whenever you add a warp effect or any other effects, remember that the first thing you should do is add tiles. After that, you can add other effects, so that glitches like these don't happen. So, always add tiles first. The tutorial is finished. I hope you understand everything I've explained in the video. I tried to explain it as clearly as I could, so if you still can't understand, I apologize. And now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, and ring that notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, and see you in the next video.